There is a pond near where I live and I knew that there had to be frogs there. I listened in to what they sounded like and found out that they were spring peepers. But man, is it hard to find these frogs. So I'm gonna take you on my journey and show you exactly how I found these frogs. First of all, it's much easier to find them at night or in the late evening. That's when they're most active. Be sure to bring a flashlight with you. Quietly approach the area where they're located and try to listen in and get very close to one that's making noise. Definitely be careful about where you're walking. You don't want to hurt any of them. Look around about 10 to 20 centimeters or three to eight inches above the ground on tree trunks. They're more than likely sticking to a tree and they camouflage extremely well. So look for any slight movement or any shiny surface on trees. That shiny surface could be their moist body. Look at that, we finally found one right here on this tree. Can you spot it? Yep, there it is. That is a spring peeper and it's tiny. Look at how well camouflaged it is. It looks exactly like the tree. Now, if you wanna be sure if it's a spring peeper, look for an X mark on their back. This is a distinctive feature of this kind of tree frog, but spring peepers don't climb that high in trees. So you just wanna look at the base of trees but not too high above the ground. Now look at this little one I found here. This is hilarious. Right before I found it, it was calling, but once I put the light on it, it stopped. Then it pretended to stop breathing and played dead. It fell right off the tree stump and down to the ground. It was very hard to see it in the leaves after it fell off the tree, but there it is in the grass. But don't worry, this frog was totally fine. When I came back later on, this is what it looked like. Super cute. Now they make noises with their vocal sacs that they enlarge. So look for something that looks like a bubblegum ball growing and getting smaller. So if you're looking for spring peepers, here's the sound and movement that you should look out for. This one wasn't shy at all like the other one that we saw. It let me get really close. Of course, don't touch frogs. They could carry bacteria. Spring peepers can be heard up to one kilometer from where they're located. And they're named after the peep sound that they make during mating season. They can be found in eastern parts of the US and Canada, as well as southern parts of the United States. They can live up to four years and lay up to 1,000 eggs that take two to four months to become froglets. They like to hide from predators under leaves during the day. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe. This channel is all about toads and frogs.